I did a few projects over the years at sort of sporting events with these and some of the other photographers are sort of very, especially the press photographers, the traditional press photographers at the side of the pitches and stadiums are like, what's he doing? <laughs> but they sound like a piece of wood breaking. That's one. For Monocle, I was assigned the project to go to Lisbon to shoot the, the Lusophony Games, which is the Portuguese track and field competition for their ex-colonies, former colonies. I had a press pass and then I just hung around and tried to unearth the story. And yeah, it was really a project to get people's trust as always. For this particular assignment, I used the Pentax 7. This is one of them. But yeah, well, I actually had spare cameras on this particular project because it was, especially for the track and field, I left a little pile of cameras under a towel on different parts of the stadium so that I could run. If something was happening the other side of the track or they were going round, I would run to the next corner where cameras would be sort of pre-focused and set up. Very undignified. <laughs> it was exhausting. In the heat, yeah, yeah. It, but it was good though, I quite like that. There was, uh, you know, there was, there was nothing digital about the project, it was very, um, it was very mechanical and physical. Commercially, I shoot digital now. For my personal projects, I do generally shoot film just because I like the, the distance of it being the, not being able to look at it straight away. Surprises in my camera bag. Well, peculiar objects might be a, a yoga mat for rolling around on the floor. I definitely have some knee pads for if I'm doing a particularly physical job. Coffee machine, which is vital. It's just a small travel one and tea bags. And I also have a music speaker put some good music on to keep people relaxed and off guard. I mean, music is a great icebreaker if your subject hopefully likes your choice of music. If. For me, a great photograph is a relaxed, informal, off-guard moment where people are completely at ease or in between moments where they're not. If it's a portrait of somebody, but it doesn't have to be. I think it's ti a timing. You know, if somebody was shooting a landscape, I'm, I'm sure the photographer would have spent hours, if not days, looking at the right timing. So I can appreciate that. And if it was a portrait of a person, I'd definitely like to say it was a, an off-guard moment. 